A big day for the Catholic Diocese of Brooklyn. Pope Francis has appointed a new spiritual leader. CBS 2's Christina Fan joins us from the Cathedral of St. Joseph, where Bishop Nicholas DiMarzio welcomed his successor. Christina? Well, Chris Mary, Bishop Robert Brennan will be the eighth bishop to lead the 1.5 million Catholics in the Diocese of Brooklyn. He is a native New Yorker and says coming home today is a full circle moment for him. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Bishops Nicholas DiMarzio and Robert Brennan celebrated Mass together at the Co-Cathedral of St. Joseph before appearing at a press conference to announce a transfer of leadership. He's young, he's energetic, and uh, without further ado, I want him to say, speak for himself. On Wednesday, the Vatican formally accepted Bishop DiMarzio's resignation, which he submitted in 2019 when he turned 75 years old, as required by canon law. He's led the church for nearly 18 years and has been a champion of immigrant rights. His successor vowed to continue that work. And I am eager to get to know each of the many and varied communities that form this amazing and unique diocese. Brennan was born in the Bronx and raised on Long Island. He was ordained a priest in the Diocese of Rockville Center. Since 2019, he served as the Bishop of Columbus and says getting the call from the Vatican to come home was overwhelming. I ask you to bear with that because I hope you'll see in that that as much as I love them, I already love you. Bishop DiMarzio's legacy, like the legacies of many Catholic bishops, is intertwined with how he responded to the priest sex abuse scandal. He established a phone line for people to report suspected abuse. Earlier this month, he was exonerated by the Vatican of allegations brought against him. Today, Bishop Brennan was asked how the church would win back trust. I would say very simply that I understand, that I'm sorry. And that I hope that as you look at what's been done and what we seek to continue to do, we can rebuild that trust. And Bishop Brennan says another issue he's hoping to tackle is accessibility and bringing more people back to the church. He is a Spanish speaker, and in a diocese that is heavily Hispanic, many are excited to be able to converse with their new spiritual leader in their native language. Reporting live from Prospect Heights, Brooklyn, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Christina, thank you.